Hey guys, Nate here with another Photoshop tutorial on the magnetic lasso tool. So basically this tool is found third down from the top on their toolbar. Under lasso tools you right click and you go to magnetic tools. And basically what this does is it follows your, it selects around your edges of an object so that you can copy it out and put it on another picture without the background or without like other parts of the picture that you do not want. So right now I just want this block of Minecraft dirt and I do not want the back background. So what I'm going to do is first uh, you want to press caps lock because caps lock creates a target just like a target or like a bullseye or a crosshair and that allows you to for more accuracy. So basically you click, you, know, you try to follow your edges and and you, you don't want to go as fast as me and you can click any time to set another bullet point and then you just keep going. Um, Basically, uh, if you look at the top above my cursor, you'll see the width, the contrast, and the frequency. Uh, going from right to left, uh, the frequency is how often the bullet points will automatically appear without you clicking, or how long it'll take for them to appear. Uh, the contrast, the higher the contrast, the higher the contrast that your picture is, which allows you allows this tool to get a more precise picture if you have, like, a contrasting colors like white on black or black on white but if you have more of like a washed out picture you don't you want probably a lower contrast so that Photoshop can easily pick up the edges of your of your picture and the selection object that you want to crop out um, the width uh, it can be set in pixels or inches or whatever I obviously a lot of people use pixels so um, that's that you see the little target circle that's the width of that circle and what Photoshop does with that width is it looks for edges of the object so the edge of the block so that it can magnetically attach to it with the magnetic lasso ha 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 and uh, that allows you it allows that to look for the certain edges that you want so as you see since my my brush is too big for this area it's knocking down here uh, as you just saw me delete a waypoint or a bullet point, you just simply press backspace. So that's very simple. So you just follow along the edge and you just keep going. I'm going to pause the video here and um, keep working on this. And I'll get back to you when I select this just for video time sake because you guys don't want me watching this. I'll be right, be right back. All right, so we're back with the selected item. As you can see, I got all the the things around the edges of the picture. Another thing to note is if you're using a 3D object, which I'm assuming a lot of people will be using a 3D object like this Minecraft block, uh, you gotta make sure that you go around the outside edges of the actual image, not not the 3D lines that you see coming out. So that's why I didn't go across the top here. Um, another cool thing with this lasso tool is if you press, say if you have another picture where you can't necessarily get like a there's like a chunk of space be covered by like all the edges so that you want to cut out like a portion of it uh, say I just want to cut out like part of this block here you can press alt and then click press alt click or hold down alt and click and then uh, release alt click again and just keep making your your uh, pixel so now if that was just quick but so now if I copy this and if I put this on a new document, um, we're gonna go. We gotta go bigger file because this is a big file. And if we push, and I've copied it, and I paste it, it'll copy out this chunk right here that I so uh, deselected. So that's another way if you have like shapes that you need to cut out of like, um, say I had like a jet that like edges connected and there was a space of the sky still showing so I had to use alt so that's basically all you need to know about the magnetic lasso tool uh, and as you see there's no more black black back black background excuse me around it so you can put this into another picture or something and pretty much looks fine uh, so if you have any questions put in the comments uh, if you would like me to make a tutorial on anything put that in the comments as well like, favor, and subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching, and have a great day.